Since joining Agent Rainmaker, we have made an additional 354K in our business in nine months. Hi guys, I'm Sam. And I'm Adam, and we're from Freedom Homes. We're established in 2017, and we specialize in HMOs. The letting agency started where all good letting agencies start, in a spare bedroom, and that was by Mr. Adam Cooper himself. They were a typical startup company, so it's just me. I think I only had at the time to start this whole business. I was the remaining thousand pound balance I'd left on my credit card. Two desks, I remember there was a mobile phone that he gave me, and that's where we rang out from, and it was the worst VoIP system I've ever used in my life. You could hardly hear anything. We didn't come from much. It was very humble beginnings. And then we hit a speed bump, probably the best way of saying it. Sam joined me about 18 months into the company, probably about four months in. I've done my numbers, I'm really digital on the spreadsheet. I'm going, all right, we, sh we should be like a month away from hitting break even. We're about 500 quid off, I've got that in the pipeline. A month goes by and I'm sitting there going, I'm on the bank account, it's just not, not building up any cash, it's still in the minus, still in the minus. And I think on about the sixth time I ran it and it got right, the penny dropped. We are running at not 500 quid off break even, we're running at six grand deficit a month. Sam's there wanting a company car at the time, and now I'm going, geez, I can barely even afford to pay the bills. So it's something that had to change, we had to pivot somewhere, because I just didn't have that money to burn through. And at that time I had a mentor, and he went, Adam, I'm going to teach you how to open your own construction firm. And I sort of laughed it off, said, Ray, come on, like, dude. I appreciate your words of wisdom, but I know nothing about building. And he goes, well, now you're going to know, because your letting agent's going to make you the revenue, and the construction firm's going to make you the big chunks of cash. After that, we started the construction firm, and we went from, I was helping kind of project manage, kind of consult, give advice to my landlords on how to do the refurbs, and giving them, like, my handymen, my contractors to do it, and charging peanuts. And it went from, guys, give me the price of the landlord, to guys, give me the price. And I think we went from making 50 quid to 8 grand in 10 weeks. At 8 grand, that was one month's deficit covered, and a bit. It was like, bloody hell, this is, this is going to save us. This is what's going to help save the agency and help us grow to the level we need. And it's going to fund the agency until a point where we have enough managed stock of the back of building these things as well to not need to build them. That was the big turning point of Freedom Homes and getting business through the door, getting a lot more deals. And of course, as life happens and what is business about is challenges, we come to another challenge. Being the genius inventor I am of solving problems, I don't realise sometimes I create my own problems further down the line. So as this beast grew, so did the outgoings. So every two weeks we have a pay run. It'd usually be about 30 to 40 grand, which is pretty decent anyway. My bookkeeper would always give it to me in the day, always like six o'clock, she'd drop it in my emails and she's gone home. And my project manager's gone home and they're going, I've got no one to speak to about this now. And I opened it and it said 71,000 pounds on that pay run. And I think we'd invoiced about 40 grand. And that had to pay for materials that are outside of that run as well. So we've got about 60 grand of accounts built up here as well. I remember sitting there going, oh my God, how the hell am I going to pay this? Lo and behold, I think it was here where Aidan Rainmaker got involved as well. I'm not yeah. wrong. Yeah, Adam called me and I answered it by mistake, like you do a sales call. And he's really nice. So I went, oh, what, what is it? He said, but you've got Agent Rainmaker Live coming up. Do you want to come? Yeah, actually, yeah, we need to make a change. So maybe we get a few free ideas. It'll be a cheap, low-cost day. Yeah, let's do it. And that's actually where a lot of the changes started to happen. So we heard there, there was 36 different ways that you can generate 100K in your business. But it's then when you listen to how it actually happens and the changes you have to make, they're so small, it was insane. Everyone we spoke to, and we asked them generally, like, look, no one can hear you. Like, what's, what's your honest feedback? Like, would you do it again? And everyone said yes. And that was just refreshing to see. From there, we went to bootcamp. And it was on day one where we got all the information and my goodness, it was mind blowing in terms of how much you can actually do to generate the extra revenue in your business. I'm very visual, I wanna know how people have done it and I can replicate. And it was literally that, Sally's there gone, here's all the secrets, here's how you do it. And it's like, oh, God, mm -hmm. that saves so much time. It just speeds up so much. So the day we got back from boot camp, we wanted to make the changes instantaneously. So we changed our three page management agreement at the time to a 33 page document. And I wrote all this, so I know how painful this was to do, but it just goes to show the difference in what we were doing at the time to the difference we had to make and what we were gonna send out to our landlords. We accidentally, actually, I didn't mean to do it at this time, but sent it out at 5 p.m. on Friday, expecting to come back to hell on Monday, basically. But anyway, we didn't lose a single landlord, and we generated from that one day effectively in bootcamp, yeah. 90k into the business. Before joining Agent Rainmaker, we were undergoing an acquisition anyway. It got delayed and delayed and delayed. Thank goodness it did, because by going to bootcamp, it was just a few passing comments that just clicked with us. Don't miss this, don't proceed if you haven't got this, and just those little checks meant when we came back to the office, we dug in and we looked at everything compliance. We hadn't done that, 
Yet we would have bought something okay, but it wouldn't have been anywhere near what we purchased in the end, would it? We've Bear had... in mind, we were meant to complete the day boot camp started. It was that yeah, yeah. Thursday. Yep. We nearly didn't go. I nearly didn't go anyway. Because yeah, yeah. Sam, you go. I'll make sure this gets over the line. I'll come join you. Yep. And luckily we both went because I'd have been there pushing it along. Yep. And someone had told me the day after I'd gone, oh, we've, we've just completed. Exactly. A crazy amount of compliance that wasn't there, yep. which took another three months to get over the line. It was those passing comments that just helped us make sure we got something that was actually tangible and worth buying. We know at the end of this year, we then need to squeeze the juice on the acquisition we just bought because we can't change anything yet. And then when we get the next acquisition, we go again and again and again. The difference is we get so much training through this as well for yep. our staff. And we were big believers of making sure the staff are at the best then be able to squeeze the juice out of the profit margins and you know, deliver a fair service. So just having this alone helps us make sure our staff are always up to date with the relevant regulations. They're always motivated and always seeing the business from our point of view as well as their own, which really helps once the team's on board. That's a game changer. Since joining Agent Rainmaker, we have made an additional 354K in our business in nine months. Incredible, and we're not even done there. So I think this goes to show, take the action, keep moving forward.